Growing up in the world of action sports, I've been super fortunate to make some really great friends. And pro skater Anthony Furlong is one of my very best. We both spent a lot of time together at Woodward Camp and shared a love for flying through the air on wheels. But that is not the only passion we have in common. What makes you tick? What's, what's something funny about Furlong right now? What's up with me? I'll tell you. I got a reptile zoo at home and that's what I've been doing. I got a Cuban iguana and three huge Burmese pythons and my pit bulls. So I've just been chilling at home with my animals and then skating a bit. Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out here with my good friend Anthony Furlong, and uh, today you're gonna see. Well, number one, we've been friends for a long time. Yeah, twenty something years. Twenty something years. He was a professional skateboarder. I was a professional BMX rider. We met at Woodward Camp, and beyond the action sports connection, we had an animal connection. And as you can see, uh, his home here in Florida, he has built quite a nice sanctuary for his animals. And he's gonna bring us around and show them right now. We're gonna do some feeding too. Yeah. All right, grab whatever you need to uh, grab. What do we gotta do? We can get. Well, we got shrimp here. Yeah, it's uh, it's thawing out. Our animal mission is simple education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kenneth. So this is really cool, man. I love the, uh, I, I was really stoked when you built these enclosures because I, uh, I love big spaces, spacious enclosures. Yeah, man. I was excited when we got this property because I used to live in a really tight neighborhood and only had a couple of cages that. outside and I couldn't really expand when we got this property. The first, I built the cages before we even moved in because I had to move my reptiles over here right. before I had to have it set up, you know? That's crazy. So the cool thing about this house was this shed here was already here and it became my, you know, refrigerator in there and yep. like smaller animals are in there. So very cool. Check it out. You know, make the Costco run and get all the <laughs> stuff and freezer full of rats. <laughs> Very cool. It's actually yeah. not full right now. I need to make an order because that goes pretty quick. But I got uh, some yearling um, Lewisai hybrids in here. That's those there's, guys? There's one here and there's three in there. I like these cages. So you built all these cages? Yeah. All of them have been kind of a... Um, I mean, well, he's, she's like, hey, yeah. get out of here. What's up? Get out of here. All these cages have kind of been a, um, a little bit of a... I guess trial and error. Okay. Because uh, oh, awesome. I've actually had these indoor ones, the ones you're looking at now, right? Um, for 10 years or more. These were actually my Burmese python cages um, years ago. Well, did it come out? Oh, there they are. Sorry. He's coming. This is the, actually the only cute full Cuban I have, and he's pretty cool, actually. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love the way, I feel like these guys tame up so the nice, Cubans the Cubans. are more, I don't know, man, it's weird. This one, for whatever reason, has just been from the time he hatched out mellow. And I call him Bent Brent because he's got this bent tail here. It's hard and hard to see. <laughs> that's that's Bent right. Brent. And he also has kind of a lazy a lazy eye. He's got a, li like you got a, a lizard a, with a lazy, lazy eye. lazy, I don't know. It seems open now, but a lot of times it's not. That's um, funny. But he, out of the, hat or these aren't hatchlings, these are yearlings. Out of all the yearlings that I still have, is the only one that's really mellow will come to me. They'll all eat out of my hands or out of tongs, but they're like, they'll charge at me and grab it and run away. That's pretty cool. Well, and, just um, even know how he's being. Yeah, he's cool. he's cool. That's I awesome. Still, I wouldn't trust him to not jump that way. Right, of course. I go, buddy. So this is the one pure Cuban I still have. Cool. And then uh, that's another Lewis eye and another one back there. So I'm, are they just in here because of the cool weather? Because of the cool weather, cool, they're though. in here. Um, this, there's a space heater out here. There's also, I have some red heat lamps that go on at night. Um, That's awesome. For in here. But it stays, when it's like 40 outside he, there, it's still over 60 in here, and then they have heat lamps in their enclosures. So cool. it works. Pretty good. I love it. Awesome. Let me grab some food. I didn't know you had rhinos. Yeah, we should talk about those rhinos. Okay, let's um, do it. Those are from our friends at Starborn. Oh, killer, man. And I've had them for uh, four years. That's awesome. Um, these guys, it's funny, man. They they sleep together, they hang out together, but they're both moody to each other. The female right now is the aggressor, and she'll chase the male off the food, but it switches throughout the year. Like That's funny. It's really weird. But uh, this is Kenobi and Amidala, little Star Wars. Hey, look nerds. at that, little nerd stuff here. There's like, is that Amidala standing there? Uh, this is... No, right here. Is that oh, no, Amidala? That's Jin Erso. Oh, Jin Erso, okay, from this Rogue One. This is Amidala on the ground, and that's Kenobi. Look at this, that's so rad. So you give them separate feeding yeah, because I, of the fact they sometimes are aggressive to each other? They'll be like, they'll eat this at first, 
and then eventually she's gonna run him off. And when she does, I usually hide his food somewhere else in the enclosure, like on the other side of the log so she can't see him. That's so rad. But right now they're so hungry that they just wanna eat, but eventually she'll... I like, um, this is a pretty, uh, they're pretty rhinos yeah. too. I like their coloration. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Uh, oh, there you go, goes. you're right. All right, here buddy, take, take your <laughs> It's okay, there. dude. You get out of here. That is so funny. You go on the other side. Well, my Lola, my Cuban rock, uh, she's pretty temperamental also, yeah. and she's been like, she does the same thing to uh, Guapo. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm getting ready to build a new like lizard thing, mm -hmm. so I'm going to take them from there. They've been there since August of 2004. Long time, yeah. uh, they haven't Crazy. bred in the last few years either, so I'm going to move them into a new enclosure that, and see if they reestablish. I, be, you know? I bet that will. I yeah. really do think that that happens so much with the, with rock iguanas. Yeah, it's that weird. Moving them just it just makes the dude horny i think <laughs> yeah i think and it'll, it'll be good like it'll re they'll have to both reestablish a territory yeah. so it starts over it's but um what i was going to say also man is uh i also my pair of rhinos came from uh morning Star stars yeah, as yeah. well yeah yeah they um these guys haven't bred yet she's laid slugs two years now oh she'll be ready but soon, she's I, th I think that in 2020 she she might produce is he yeah. he's got to want it though he he, <laughs> he does turn into the aggressor at that time right. of year so hopefully he'll uh, learn he'll that, pull it he'll learn good his. luck little buddy so these are nice uh enclosures they're very nice very yeah that's spacious these they, and, nice and you homes. know what's cool is like well you yeah, he's always is. been building ramps and stuff like that since yeah. a kid and so it's awesome he just started applying that but yeah. they are they're spacious he i love how he's done all these different like how you did this like just different basking platforms a lot of it's repurposed too like for instance this was actually if you when you see when you go outside again and you look the front of the enclosures there's like two foot of plywood and that's really my idea is i don't like when the iguanas can see out at the bottom right because they'll just rub their faces and try to dig out it just makes them realize they're enclosed and they want to get out at that point and either they'll hurt themselves or they will break through your wire at the bottom or whatever yeah but these guys have no idea at the bottom where to go so i chose to build stairs to get in and get out um that way they don't ever they're not digging at the bottom the other good thing and is is when you open this door because you have to step over it they yeah. can't just haul ass that's, out that you know? that's exact same same thing same theory yeah. of of not digging out is that when you open the door you don't have to worry about them because they are a lot of, actually almost all of them are really aggressive when i have food they'll come screaming out at me right so if that was ground level i would have to be chasing iguanas yeah, right all the time you. and a lot of these guys like these guys are really mellow but these two would, would not come to me outside this cage i would i would guarantee it i do have a couple of iguanas that i could let out that i wouldn't worry about but these guys would run As a matter of fact i almost lost her a couple years ago no doubt i had her outside i was handling her and put her down on that table and she bolted for that tree oh and so i true. ran and i couldn't believe i got her dude. yeah i could yeah. not believe i've it. been in that situation before actually it's fine, man. I, I know you guys will appreciate seeing uh, just how other people do it. I want to give you guys ideas how to care for some of these animals. But not just for rhino iguanas. These would be good for green iguanas, monitor lizards, as Anthony has some. Uh, I'll tell you what, this just looks nice. It like does. the way it's done, it's really yeah. clean. You Thank know what I mean? You. Clean line. I, like appreciate, I appreciate anyone noticing that because when I was building them, my biggest thing when we moved to this property was don't get in over your head. You know, with animals and with your enclosures, I've been to other people's properties, um, and I won't name names, but I've been to other places. And people with animals just like, they take in animals too much, they can't handle all the animals, they can't handle all the feeding, they can't handle all the enclosures, and they just get in over their heads. Yeah. And I was vowing myself, just try not to do that. So I tried to build everything clean and keep it, you know, clean looking. And also, you know, I have a girlfriend, girlfriend slash wife that I didn't want to be bummed on the, her, her new house. You know? Right. Exactly. This is a uh, this is Havana. Right on. She is the breeding mom or the breeder uh, Lewis I cross that she she looks a little more Cuban than the male that I have, um, but she's the mom of all the Lewis eyes that I, I have hatchlings now and I have yearlings still. Um, she's pretty cool. Let's see. That's so rad. She's gonna get down there. She's Let's see if she can figure this, it out. This, uh, oh. She's gonna help her. Hey babe, what you doing? What wow, what nice Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's okay, awesome, dude. It's okay. It's Who okay. else lives in here with her? Just, she's by herself. Because, oh really? Because she is territorial. 
Huh. And in the breeding season, Pacino will defend himself, but and if it's not, you know, April, May, June, he she rules him. And wow. a matter of fact, she tries to rule the rhinos next door. She <laughs> is in their business, man, like you wouldn't believe. I have to come in. Sometimes I come in and I take her off the fence like get get away from them, you know, cuz she's That's so crazy. she is the most territorial lizard on this property. That's so wait, it's Pacino in Havana? Pacino in Havana, yeah. Because Pacino was uh, from Cuba or something like no, that? Well, no, Scarface? no, and I'll show you this. Uh, Pacino. <laughs> I'm trying um, to figure out the names. Yeah, Havana is because she, you know, Cuban, Lewis, I, whatever. So yeah. Havana. But uh, Pacino came to me from uh, a kid that had uh, him at uh, University of South Florida. And he was housing him indoors and he had this... Oh, horrendous, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. horrendous skin problem, All right. which oh. I'm dealing with still, and I'll show you oh, him because okay. actually we need to give him an injection. So All right, can, let's get to it. Let's um, go. But he, I'll warn you, his skin problem is a mess. Right, but at least, yeah, I, I know, he came with this skin problem, but he's been working on it. So it's something that I've never seen, and I don't know, uh, maybe someone out there at Keep Cyclora has seen it before, but uh, you can comment below. But uh, it's just an interesting thing. It flares um, up, right? It's like... Um, yeah, I actually... So he came to me, and it wasn't even as bad as it is now, but it was yeah. pretty bad. Um, but I had kind of gotten it to go away. I got Sylvadine and, and yep. gave him, like, baths with Betadine in it, just trying to clean areas. And I was, you know, doing it just by hand and and it cleared up like probably 80% and I was like good this thing's gone like now he's living in natural sunlight I've got yeah. a handle on it it's gonna go and you know part of the problem with them living outdoors is that you sometimes do neglect them because you're not like handling them all the time right and after a while um, I noticed it was coming back and by the time I really did anything about it it was exploding oh, and oh. so I took him to the vet spent way too much money and the results of it haven't come back from the University of Florida yet, but I've been giving them injections of whatever antibiotics they gave me so far to just help them out. They took a uh, biopsy to it. So, so that'd be interesting to see It'll what they come back. It'll be interesting, and, and I was, you know, like we all are, I was trying not to have to spend all that much money, Right. but I bit the bullet and spent $800 on getting a uh, biopsy and yeah, sent off. Well, so It'll be cool just yeah. to know, you and, know, what's yeah, going on. This is all right, so this lizard is special. Because uh, this was actually used to live in my house. This is Elian. He's gonna go get the food. But yeah, this lizard here, I raised him. He was a little guy. He was a little hatchling. And uh, I love when I get to come back and see him. He's such an awesome lizard, man. He's super, super chill. Is he still chill? He's the best. Oh, it's so rad, dude. Elian, named after Elian Gonzalez, man. Yeah. So <laughs> he, stuff. yeah, like Ken and said, totally. I got him from there because he was getting beat up by Lola. I That's right. And then I had to get a different male. That's so funny. Oh, Elian. Oh my God, I love this lizard. Look at this lizard. Look at that. He is gorgeous, man. Um, that is just the best to see this guy doing well. Now, if, yeah, there you go. Show, show him the fingers, man. Yeah. He's in a permanent rock so and roll pose. This, this is the result of Lola. <laughs> Lola, Lola oh, nipped those really fingers off. His fingers yes. off. This was Guapo before Guapo. Well, this Guapo was Guapo lived there. Right? Yeah, Guapo lived there, but I had to keep them separate. Um, I bought, I guess, I, I guess how it went was, I don't remember if it was Elian and her that I got as a pair, uh, or if it was Guapo and her that I got as a pair. Um, but I mean, it's, he's so amazing. Yeah. He's so, so awesome. I had always been into reptiles my whole life. And that was obviously Kenan and I's second bond was outside of skating and bike riding. But I didn't know anything about Cyclura until Kenan moved to Florida and got that pair. And then had a third, I guess, which was Guapo. Yeah. And then he's like, "Hey, do you do you want my Cuban iguanas getting beat up? Do you do you want him?" And I was like, "Sure." And I really didn't know anything about Cyclera. So literally, Alien was my introduction to rock iguanas. And as you can see, it kind of blossomed yeah. into more of a love. It, it, yeah, right? it literally is like, I I I love Asian water monitors. Um, I love other kinds of animal uh, reptiles, but rock iguanas are the raddest to me um that's why i got more that's why i i don't i wouldn't say i breed them i do let my guys breed and i sell them but um but uh that wasn't my intent they just kind of naturally do their thing here yeah um it's pretty cool man but and then his girl uh carmen she's <laughs> a bit of a, a b-i-t-c-h uh, <laughs> she doesn't like anyone and the funny thing is i got her as a hatchling and i've handled her the same way as i have every other iguana and as you other keepers know, some of them just don't 
tamed down. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, but she hates the world. <laughs> And uh, she'll come and eat out of my out of my hand, but like I have to be careful because she'll bite me. But she's a good, you know, healthy Cuban, pure Cuban iguana. She just doesn't like to be touched. Well, wow. but her and Ilian get along great. They I don't ever have to separate them throughout the year. Cool. They've lived together for however many years now. And again, these large enclosures, lots of branches, lots of different basking platforms, so that when the animals want to get away from each other, they can. Uh, so there's no stress on them always getting on each other. And the cool thing really too, cool. I guess I could show you is like, and I don't, I, I think there's probably some people that would not like this style, but out here at night when it's cold, um, the heat lamps come on. And the heating that I use is the red night bulbs, heat bulbs. And the reason I put windows on my heat boxes is that from the inside, I can see if they're all working. Right. Now, there are a few animals that don't go in sometimes, and or they'll come out, which those guys I try to lock in their boxes. But I just found that it was a cool way for me, instead of having to like use heat mats with ev everywhere and have to go and reach my hand in and see if it's warm and make sure everyone's yeah, in, right. I can right. see them. A lot of times, I, most of the time, I can see the animal in there, and I can see the heat is on. From without having to go in the enclosure, so yeah, smart. so every every heat box has windows on it that I can see what's going on and if they're working and whatnot. That's awesome. Boy, you really are into your Star Wars man. You know what that you know what Kashyyyk is? Kashyyyk is the home planet of the Wookiees, dude. I'm so Come proud on. of you. What are you proud of? <laughs> yeah, me? Like, no I'm one knows that. Are you I never, no one I knows never, Kashyyyk. Uh, I know Star Wars pretty well. I never heard that. Are you yeah, kidding me? No no yeah. Chewbacca's home planet. Yeah, dude, Chewbacca's. Yeah. You know what is? Doesn't he have a wife named Lumpy too? That's know. her name. That's, the that's Star Wars Christmas, the car Star Wars Christmas special. Oh, that was I. It's, that was that's, that's from rough. 1978. Yeah. But in here is Kashyyyk, which is a water monitor. If you guys remember Kenan's that's past right. videos, um, Jackie, who we tried to breed with Slinky, um, that didn't work out. Slinky kind of gassed her, so I brought her back. I ended up getting a male, and um, Jackie and him bred, and she impacted eggs. Uh, uh, he she laid about 10 eggs. Put her back out. She was fine. She ate, and then two days later, she was dead. Crazy. So, and by and I didn't get her, you know, uh, necropsy. I just um, assume that she must have impacted eggs because Crazy. there was no reason she was dead. Just, yeah. just she laid eggs fine. She ate a rat. She was acting fine. The next morning, come out dead. So Crazy. I still have no idea. So she's gone. But uh, I did hatch out a couple of those eggs. Um, and I sold one because he was beating up on his sister. But I kept the sister, and that's Kashyyyk. Oh, get out of here, really? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. So this is a, this is the offspring of Jackie. Yes. And she will come right out because she'll smell this shrimp. Oh, cool. I love this, man. Um, hey, baby. Come on, girl. Sorry. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, oh that? she's nice. She's pretty, man. That is an awesome lizard, dude. It's so yeah. cool that this is an yeah, animal dude. that you Come produced. Come Not a lot of people produce uh, water on. monitors in Come captivity on. here in the States. Come on. Lazy. <laughs> it's cold out here, Dad. That is awesome, Furlong. Yeah, so, so she's a year and a half old. Um, and she's doing good. She's still, I actually don't know that it's a female, but by growth rate I'm guessing it's a girl. All right. It's a good size. Yeah. That's awesome. Good growth. Beautiful. Oh. So you vary it up like you'll give them rodents, you'll give them some yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. seafood. She, I, I, rodents a lot. Um, shrimp lately, fish. Uh, what else was I feeding them recently? Chicken gizzards and gotcha. stuff like that. Right. Um, I try to dust. I dust some of it. I don't dust it all the time but um, but yeah, she's good. She usually is smart like most monitors and can decipher between my hand and food. And she's always been really mellow. So I'm pretty, that is awesome, pretty stoked and hopefully she'll stay this way. What's this? What's this? You want one more? All right. <laughs> good job. Right on. Good job. So cool to see. Uh, good job. So many animals we'll in the care in? of people that really care about them, you know? It's awesome. 
that Anthony and I share this uh, passion. Okay, so. All right, where are we going? So yeah, like I just added this wall and made this enclosure because like I said, um, Pacino, who you met earlier in the, or you didn't meet, we talked about earlier in the video, is a Cayman Island blue iguana hybrid. He's very blue compared to Havana. Um, but he came to me a few years ago from this kid, a college student that had him living in an apartment, had this really bad skin problem. We thought bacterial problem or maybe it was just substrate, you know, yeah. living indoors, not getting sunlight, living in crappy substrate. But he looks terrible on, on his bottom. So just be forewarned, guys. This animal, basically what we're saying is this animal is currently getting treatment and we're trying to figure out, or Anthony's trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with him. So. And Let's because see. I got him in a bad state, all I've ever done with him is give him injections and yeah. peel stuff off of him. So he right. only associates bad feelings with me. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Calm down. Calm down. So you can see, yeah. Wow, that's crazy, man. Okay. It's right. like a real crust. All right. And it looks like barnacles almost. Oh, yeah. So. We're still waiting on the results from the University of Florida of the biopsy. But in the meantime, I've been giving him antibiotics orally and uh, injecting. But he's, he's, yeah, he's real bad. But this animal, when it's sunny and it's summertime, yeah. is almost like a uh, natural full blue, blue iguana. iguana. It's, Look at his head. He's so pretty. I is just, it possible for a, a, a lizard like that to have a cancer of some sort? You know, um, I don't know, but I mean, I would imagine. Um, and honestly, the reptile specialist here, the vet that I went to is kind of expensive because it's like the only reptile specialist around yeah. here. And um, he thinks it's uh, some yellow fungus. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he suspected what it was, but he wanted, he sent it off to UF because they're, they're, uh, Really, labs, really right? good. Yeah. yeah, they got great. Labs. So, so Pacino actually he breeds with Havana. Everything's fine. He's healthy. He eats good. He's temperamental to me because of the situation. Um, but he's all in all really cool. And I just hope to God I can get him back to full health. I don't think that this is life threatening, but it's just it looks super uncomfortable for him, and it's unsightly, obviously. Um, but uh, he, like I said, other than that. Havana took one of his toes. <laughs> Jesus. Um, They're rough on each other sometimes. Yeah, they are. All right, where do you want, want so, me to set up the. Uh, yeah, can you? Yeah, you know how certainly. Yeah. Okay. Sightingly. If, just, can you, have you ever done injections? Yeah. Okay, so you can do it. I'll just hold them. All right. Where just do you want it? Where, where is the yeah, site? Forearm. forearm? Yeah. Sub Q, right? What does that mean? Subcutaneous. In the skin or intramuscular? Oh, okay. Do you want see, it? See, Barb is the nurse, and Barb always does the injections, and I always hold them. Okay. So you're going to be Barb. All right. <laughs> We're going to go. You're not as cute as Barb. Definitely not. Um, but she just goes in the muscle, I think. Okay. So intra um, that I'll hold him down this table. Okay. That's called intramuscular. All righty. All right. And so they put it in the forearm because with certain reptiles, the way the circulatory system works is, um, you know, the blood travels through the forearm. Almost got you. The blood travels through the forearm. He'll jump a little bit. There we go. There you and go. then we just get it right in. Yep. And that's it. Good boy, buddy. So again, Pacino, his name, we were talking about it before. I love Pacino, the actor, but also we called him Patch when we got him because was, his skin was all patchy. Okay. So ah. we started calling him Pacino. So cool. it became Havana and Pacino, the, the hybrids. But um, I'm going to put him back in the box. You got it, bro. Comfortable. And I think we dropped this. This is what I was looking for. All right. Come all right. Well, again. let's go ahead into the final enclosures, man. Got to help out with a little uh, lizard nursing. I'm excited to see these guys though. The last of the lizards I have is uh, Mandela and Charlize. <laughs> They're from which South, South are both Africa. South Africans. And, <laughs> hold uh, on, hold on. Nelson Mandela and Charlize, Charlize Theron. Theron. Mm, are, Charlize Theron. If you're out there, Charlize, um, you got a shot. They, you might have a shot with this guy. Exactly. <laughs> they uh, are two of my favorite South Africans for, you know, Nelson Mandela for obvious reasons. Hold on, well, let me stop you for a second. I just wanted to say to Charlize, uh, I think it was her that recently says she has a hard time meeting men. Uh, he is taken. Was it, was it her? I think it was her. She like it's uh, it's hard for her to get a date. So you guys are intimidated. Maybe? Uh, yeah, guys are intimidated. She's obviously not going after the right guys. Barb. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get to it. Here we go. Let's meet their the reptilian counterparts of the two South. So Africans. the cool thing about these guys, well, there's many cool things. Like one of the cool things is when I got them, 
um, the male was half the size of the female because uh, they just were different ages. So the male was tiny okay. when I got them. That has switched, fully switched. Where are they? Where's um, the male? Right there. Both right here. Oh, they're both right there. Look at that. So the male is that the is big so one. So cool. That is Mandela. He is. Uh, he's pretty cool. They're whoa. Oh, hey, sorry, dude. <laughs> he, they're <laughs> he both actually the pretty good lizards. He just smelt the food. There you go, bud. Or he, he wants. To, well, let him eat the camera. Want to eat the camera? That's fine. Gladly sacrifice it. They both like to um, hiss, kind of like your Mertens, but they gotcha. don't. But, but they don't bite. Um, she has lunged at me a couple of times. That's the female who just took the shrimp. That's and these Charlize. guys, you know what's funny is these guys have a similar look to a black throat and a savanna. Oh, um, black throats and white throats are so hard to tell apart. It's incredible, man. But these guys, from what I understand, are actually tortoise. Uh, they will eat tortoises. They can eat smaller tortoises. They actually crunch the shells. They've got this powerful, look at his powerful jaws. Yeah, he's a and big that dude. head is really robust. And uh, these He's really animals, interested in the GoPro. He is, man. You don't even want the food? Fine, she'll take it. She's like, I got. Oh, don't crunch the. Like sit. Don't crunch them. That feet. is so cool. He is fixated on this thing. Yeah, it's weird. He's a robust ear eater, and he's like really into the camera. Here, bud. He's there a little. You there you go. That's a boy. Wow, he's cool, boy. man. Take That's a cool looking I'll lizard take him right out. there. He's big and fun. What? And what is full size on these guys? Oh. Um, six, I seven? don't, yeah, I think five, six, as okay. far as length, because look how girthy they are, yeah. you know? I like, know black throats get fairly large. Yeah, black these throats, guys. I think, might get a little bit larger. I'm no, ouch, I'm no monitor expert. Authority. I don't have the stats on them, but, yeah. but I think a lot of people would argue that black throats get a little bit this bigger. This is a really cool line right there. But this guy, um, I don't know, he's turning into one of my favorite pets just because of how mellow he is and... Um, the female's a little bit more you know, apprehensive. Have Which, you ever gotten eggs from these guys? Um, actually, right after I got them, when they were tiny, he started breeding with her. No way. He was half her size. They didn't work. Yeah. But she ended up laying slugs. Um, last year, I think she laid slugs. I've seen them tied up as adults. That's great. Um, I also have never done my due diligence about when they're really sexually mature. Okay. Um, so I don't know, because I've seen them lock up at this size. I just don't know. Can I grab him, yeah. you think? Yeah. This guy's so rad. He's got sharp Oh colors. my God, he's locked onto you, bro. Yeah. He don't want to fall. Oh. This is definitely a terrestrial guy. They'll climb, but they want to make sure they have some, oh my God, is he locked on or what? Just give him a shoulder. He'll come off me. So oh. I'd hate to be, so much for this Charlize shirt. with this dude. <laughs> she, when he locks on, he she, ain't coming off. She does the same thing. She's just smaller. There you go, girl. Good God. Holy shit. Still geez, got my ring. Oh, there we go. Oh, this lizard's amazing. Oh, God. He's locking on. He's giving me a new tattoo. Don't, don't bite my neck. I once held a monitor that someone said was tame, oh, and it turned out it bit my, bit my neck. So what's Whew. funny to me, because I've owned them, oh, yes. is the change in size. He was half of her size. Granted, she was smaller, he was tiny, and now he is more than double her size. It's incredible. Well, I'll tell you, man, you are definitely gonna be inspiring a few people to get out there and build some really cool enclosures. And you know what's great, guys, is Anthony, it's not like he's got hundreds of animals, but yeah. it's something that I've always said in the videos, it's not about how many animals, it's about how well you keep them, and that's what's special. That's what makes all these animals even better. Because you don't get overburdened, uh, you can really get to know each and every animal, and uh, it's a really rewarding thing, as I'm sure you'll agree, man. Yeah, definitely, and, and I would, would agree with the, um yeah, don't don't overdo it with the amount of animals. It's really an it can be an addictive thing to get into taking animals in and definitely. And uh, what happens is the more you have, the less you can care for the ones you have. And that, that. I mean, I'm just I'm guilty of it too. I mean, Pacino is in that state, you know, partially because he lives out here and I have so much to take care of that by the time I got a handle on his his uh, problem and got him to the vet, it had gotten bad enough and. You know, I'll take the blame on that, but we're going to get that fixed. Cool. Well, all right, everyone. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today. It was awesome to visit with an old friend of mine and see his animals. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you can follow Anthony on Instagram. Shout out your Instagram, Ant. It's just Anthony Furlong. 
There you uh, go. F-U-R-L-O-N-G. And I have Cyclura available, hatchlings <laughs> yeah, and yearlings right now. There you go. All right, everyone, we'll see you guys soon. If I can get this guy off of me. Oh, if I can get her off of me. Yeah, good grief. So red. Get him.